And here we are in Mazuzu, Malawi at our building lot, which overlooks the town of Malawi over there. There's many new houses here. And as you can see, we've just had bricks delivered to the plot. These are locally made bricks, which are kind of primitive, but they're the best you can get in this particular area. Actually, they're the only thing you can get in this particular area. They are handmade, hand formed, and hand fired in homemade ovens. And there is our neighbor's house. And here we have the bricklayers and laborers hard at work. That right there is a tower where the water tank will go and people do that because the electricity is not very dependable here and so you fill the water tank ahead of time and then when the power goes out you still have water. Here we have the outdoor kitchen and this is a house we built a couple of years ago which is what they call the boys quarters or servants quarters. And this is a more modern one. It has in the middle there the indoor toilet and shower. Generally speaking, in Africa, you have an outdoor kitchen, outdoor toilet, and outdoor shower. Very beautiful area, as you can see. More new houses over there. And all of these houses are built entirely without the use of power tools. I've been here for months and have never heard a power tool even once, except way off in the distance we did hear a chainsaw once. In this area, as in most of Africa, this is what passes for a road this dirt path but it is all we have these are handmade cinder blocks made right here by these laborers that we have this is our little road And everybody, even though this is what's considered an upper-class neighborhood, uh, everybody has to use these crappy paths that uh, we're stuck with for the for roads. And they're potholed and full of ruts and flood out half the time. But like I said, it's all they have. This is the neighbor's house and then this is the valley and over there is the town of Mizuzu and then there's the mountains more of our neighbors uh, more houses under construction